And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Mexa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the 97.3, the fan studios with Captain John Conniff, who was fresh, literally fresh right this morning off the Islander. And we're going to be talking some fishing here. He is off the water and on the air with us this morning and going to tell us all about it. So stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on 97.3, the fan. When it comes to catching big bluefin tuna in local waters, Shimano has the gear proven to land the big ones. You already know the hot jig is the Shimano Butterfly Flat Ball Jig. And when you match that with the right tackle system, it makes this great jig even more effective. We suggest you grab a Tranks 500 HG and fill it with 80-pound Power Pro Max Quattro. Max Quattro is 25% thinner, which means 25% more line capacity when you hook that giant. Match your new setup with a Therese 70H and you have the power to put the wood to that big blue fin tuna. The Tranks 500 HG has the cranking power you need. And with the level wind, you concentrate on fishing your Shimano flat ball and leave the line control to the Tranks reel. Hundreds of big fish have been caught on the flat ball. And when you add the Power Pro Max Quattro Tranks to Res Combo, you'll take your fishing to the next level. See your local dealer or check Shimano.com for all the details. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lane the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Rancho Leonero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-2252. 1-800-646-Baja. And RanchoLeonero.com. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today, they'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on 97.3. Going to be a fun show today, man. Yeah, indeed. Captain John Conniff, good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, now what time did the boat get in this morning? Uh, 5.45. And, and you're <laughs> here, here in the now. studios with us. I made it. There's yeah. no traffic on Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a nice program, right? No marathons or anything like yeah. that this morning. Yep. It's, a good, it's a good thing. So, what what you catch? You caught some fish, Yeah, huh? good trip. Yeah, it was, it was decent bluefin fishing, you know, relative to what we've experienced here the last few days. We had 20 bluefin and some nice quality yellowtail to go along with it. So nice. It flat, calm weather. It was a good trip. Flat, calm Bluefin, yellowtail, what could be better than that? Huh? Yeah, it was fun. Really cool. fun, yeah. So uh, for those of our listeners that aren't familiar with the Islander, why don't you fill us in on the boat? It's a it's a fabulous boat. I, I love, really enjoy yeah, fishing I love this boat. boat. Yeah, it, It's an 
foot by 24 foot uh, sport fishing boat. You know, we do a lot of different things on the boat. It's uh, big and comfy. It was built as the original Red Rooster 2 and uh, designed as a long range boat, so it's got nice, comfortable accommodations. A uh, great fishing platform. We do a lot of day and a half, two and a half day trips, three and a half day trips, a little bit of everything. Yeah, and then you do shark trips in the in the fall. We do. We dive with the sharks at Guadalupe Island in the fall. We've been doing that for 14 years now. That's no awesome. kidding. It's been 14 years. Yeah, wow. It's been a while. That's Super crazy. popular trips oh, too, yeah. right? It is. Yeah, they are. No, they continue to grow and grow every year. It's become kind of a big part of what we do now. Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. But fishing also is a big part of you do. We just did our uh, Let's Talk Hookup uh, Islander kayak trip with you, and you just finished your series of kayak trips. And the last kayak trip, you went out with a bang, didn't you? Yeah, I think this year's been our best season for kayak fishing. Had really good yellowtail fishing on most of the trips this year. Yeah, on this last trip, timing was good, and the weather was good, and all that 150 to... 200 plus pound bluefin popped up on the front side of Clemente, and we just happened to be right there. Come on. Yeah, we we caught one from the boat and landed it, but we had six guys getting towed around at sea. Get out of here. Yeah, 150 <laughs> to 180 pound fish is what I would guess. They never landed one. They were a little bit undergunned. We had one guy towed <laughs> over three miles off the island, oh. and one guy on a fish for almost six hours. So it was it was quite a show, and you could watch these guys paddle into these middle of these football field-sized foamers of fish. you oh. got to be kidding me. Yeah. That must have oh, been that's so cool. That alone was cool. I think even though they didn't land them, they were all pretty stoked to be Yeah, fired. Yeah. Yeah, to hook, to hook into something like that. and So six hours in a kayak getting towed around and then finally yeah. using it. That's it looked miserable to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> no doubt. And, 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 and so fortunately the weather was flat. It was. It got a little choppy right after dark. That's when we put him back on the boat. Yeah. He was ready to come back anyways. But, yeah, it was – we've talked with some of the groups that we do these trips with about trying to put a tuna trip together. And it never seemed like something that was going to work out. It was just too many logistics to get guys in the water. But this day they just happened to float up, and it was, you know, only a quarter mile off the island. There was fish in 40 fathoms swimming around. Wow. That's wild. And, And when was this? Oh, God, I don't know. two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Think, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, there's so much fish around still, as we're going to hear from Tom Green very shortly in the show here. He was up in the air looking yesterday, and uh, uh, they had actually had two planes up there. Carl Sabonis was up there, too. So double report coming from Tom Green here very, very shortly. So what's up with the island? Are you going to uh, be doing any more trips here in the near future? Yeah, we're just pretty much on a straight fishing schedule now until uh, almost up to October. So we've got a... We have a day and a half trip that leaves tomorrow night. This still got plenty of spots. Tomorrow on it. night, okay, yeah. day and a half trip, and the weather this God, week looks say, fantastic, right? Yeah, the weather yesterday was just grease calm. And the cool thing about yesterday is we actually were were stopping on fish that reacted to some degree instead of rolling up on these big foamers or, or breezers, sonar schools where it's crickets when you stop the boat. This time we'd actually hook some bait fish on just about every stop. I think we had one stop where we hooked ten or twelve, which is has not been the case here recently. Yeah. So it was a little bit different uh, degree of fishing for sure. Something changed a little. Nice to hear that things feel like they're on the upswing again. I mean, every, you know, yourself and every one of your colleagues, you hear the same thing, that the volume of fish is just crazy how how much there is and how frequently you get stopped and how when you pick up the binoculars you see one here and one here and one there. It's just one of those things. It's just some, something needs to change, and it sounds like that at least we're, we're kind of on the upswing of those things wanting to wanting to play a game a little bit. Yeah, you know, and that's been the saving grace on some of these slow trips is that, you know, the the passengers get to see the fish. You know, there's no mystery there. You're rolling up on, you know, giant foamers twice the size of the boat or puddling fish or bird schools. So it's it's not the case, wow, there's not much fish around here. I mean, they get to see it all day, and it, you know, at least everyone's hip to the fact that, hey, there's fish here. Yeah, you totally. The bite is sometimes a different story, but... You know, that could change, and we saw something different yesterday that we hadn't seen. So That's great. That's what did, a good thing. What did it take to get a bite yesterday? What was the gear like, and how, how were the bites coming? Everything. You know, yesterday you could get a bite on a sardine mm-hmm. pretty well. You know, I mean, we had watched a couple guys that were new to it, you know, with a rental rod in their hand and their thumb on the spool, and, <laughs> whoa, I got one. So that <laughs> was, you know, it wasn't that hard right. to get a bite. Not easy by any means. I'm not going to make it sound too easy, but bait. Worked great. We caught fish on jigs, pretty much everything. Cool. 
And and uh, still a light line, small hook scenario, or is yeah, it the fish we caught yesterday was I'd call it you know whatever thirty five pound average, thirty thirty to forty pound. So fish. guys are fishing thirty pound. Yeah, twenty five pound, thirty pound. Getting a simple bite. tackle. Yeah, you're not having to use. That's great. That big yeah. There's still a lot of that bigger fish around. Uh huh. Cool thing is when they're jumping, you can kind of let everybody know what you're approaching. See what you're in for. Nice, nice. Yeah. And there's some yellowtail around too, a nice grade, right? Yeah, we caught a few. There were a couple kelps yesterday that kicked a few out, but they're all good grade fish. Call it anywhere from 10 to all the way up to 20 pounds. Nice, nice. So fun time fishing and good weather. It was. It was an enjoyable day. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And and it's been, I mean, size up this early summer, late spring fishing. It's been just a, uh, like a, a, a a, a mixture. I mean, it's just like crazy. Big fish, small fish, fish you yeah. don't want to bite. You're sitting on fish all the time. What? What's your? Yeah, story? I mean, the last trip, you know, I try to keep everyone in the loop as far as what we're about to stop on. You know, you don't want to be undergunned if they're all hundred pounders. And we'd go spot to spot and and literally be okay. This one's uh, eighteen pound yellowfin. This one's thirty five pound bluefin. This is sixty to ninety pound bluefin. Literally hit three different spots and it was different fish. And how do you know when you're rolling up what it is? You can tell on the sonar, but most of the time when you're looking through gyros, you know, and you're watching the fish jump, you can get a pretty good idea of exactly what yeah. it is. We were kind of talking about that yesterday, about, you know, learning to read your meter, your sonar, or whatever, so you can actually tell what size fish it is when you're, uh, is that just from experience, from knowing what it looks like? Yeah. I mean, I've been proved wrong on that <laughs> numerous times. <laughs> but, but, yeah, a school of yellowfin on a sonar School size yellowfin will look different than a school of big bluefin, and uh -huh. you know, it, sometimes they're mixed up, swimming in the same school. But when you you look at the sonar, you look at the meter, you look through the glasses, you can take all the information from those three things and yeah. usually deduce what you're looking at. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. There man. was a classic picture I think that the Liberty had the other day from a full day trip for two fish that came out of the same stop, one of which was like a four pound yellowfin tuna and the other was a hundred pound bluefin oh. tuna that were, you know, a hundred percent same stop. Both of those things ate sardines at the same time, you know, and uh you know, you see one one gal holding a hundred and five, you know, hundred and four pound bluefin and then there's a four pound yellowfin, you know, dangling from the Crazy. line right next to it. It's pretty wild what's yeah. how mixed up things are. Yeah, and that could happen, right? You see 30, 40 pound bluefin, but there could be a bigger one in there too, right? Yeah, no, for sure. There, there's yeah. just so much fish around right now. Yeah. I know that's it's cliche at this point, but there's so much fish off our coast Thank right now. Goodness. It's incredible. Bait. Bait everywhere, right? Bait everywhere. What are you seeing? I mean, what kind of bait? Is it anchovies? Yeah, sardine? lots of small anchovies. You small can see anchovies. Them flying out of the water yesterday on some yeah. of these schools. Really? And you see them come out of the fish when you land the fish. That's so cool. Wow. A lot that's of biomass, just fish life off our coast right now. That's really, and that's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's uh, that's sustaining uh, future for our fishery here. And it keeps them here. Yeah. You know, they, that, that amount of bait around, <clears throat> they got no need They got no need to go elsewhere, just camp out. Yeah. We're fine with that. And and one thing we, we should mention is the Everingham brothers have been doing a phenomenal job of catching bait. I mean, the boats, multiple Bait's boats out every day. Guys year. have been doing a great job on the bait, right? Definitely. Our bait this trip was excellent. We're saving it, obviously, for the next trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it hasn't been a problem to get all you need, and the quality's been really, really good. That's, I mean, that's something worth talking about, you know, an, an, an advantage that a boat like the Islander has is having, you know, Having having wells and you know the ability to when you get something that's extra special like that you guys have the ability to keep keep extra bait on board. Yeah, well we put a new bait tank on this year, which was our big improvement and basically doubled our bait capacity. No on the bait deck. Wow. Yeah. on the deck. Yeah, we used to take thirty five swings in each well, and if it's good bait, I'm pretty sure we could put seventy in each one. Jeez, wow. which is cool. It's How nice to, must that be on your you know oh, on, on your end? It's great. And, we, you know, we had to use our slammer, which is a, a fantastic RSW fish hold, for bait on so many trips mm -hmm. last year because bait was challenging. And now that we've got all that capacity in the tank, we put all the fish back in the RSW well in the back. So it's 
it's made our life on the back deck much easier. And That's great. Yeah, it's worked out well. Nice, nice. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. John's a wealth of knowledge, literally right off the water. If you have questions, you're going on a trip, you want to go on a trip, this is the man to ask. Yeah, no kidding, man. What a perfect time and <clears throat> what great timing to have John in here this morning. If you want to join us, we want to hear from you this morning. Great opportunity to get through. We have one phone line open right now on 97.3 The Fan, and that's 833 833- Two eight eight zero nine seven three again eight three three two eight eight pardon me zero nine seven three is going to get you through to the fan this morning and not only are you going to get a chance to talk to Ch- Captain John you're also going to get a shot at winning a great prize today we're giving away a Nomad lure package it includes everything cool from Nomad uh, the DTX minnows the buffalo jigs that great Riptide uh, stick bait which has been awesome on those bluefins this year all of that is courtesy of our good friends at Nomad Lure so a really really cool Nomad prize pack and again if you want to get your shot at that great prize or better yet your talk to your chance to talk Islander, 833-288-0973. And when we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on 97.3 The Fan. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com. Com and find a dealer near you. Dana Landing in Mission Bay is truly the one-stop shop for a great day on the water. This is Chelsea. Come see me and our expert fishing staff for just about anything you need for a great day of on-the-water fun. Looking for a fishing charter? Dana Landing has you covered with the blackjacks, perfect for up to four anglers or the impulse with up to six. Dana Landing has a huge selection with everything you need to catch small bay bass or giant tuna. We will be sure to set you up with the right gear. We even offer real repair and Mexican and California fishing licenses. Don't forget the amazing deli at Dana Landing with all the food, ice, and beverages you need to complete your day. Need freshwater tackle? Head to East County Bait and Tackle with all the finest rods and reels, the hottest freshwater lures, and live bait. ECBT has an amazing staff who love to share their passion for fishing. East County Bait and Tackle is located at the end of the 67 freeway on Main Street and Lakeside. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Launch Ramp on San Diego's Mission Bay. Check out danalanding.com for more details. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. Hydrohoist is about to be reintroduced to California boaters in a big way. Have you ever white-knuckled it down a California freeway just to arrive at a crazy crowded launch ramp with no place to park your boat trailer? I have and it's no fun. This is Rob Sanford for Hydrohoist Boat Lifts. You've heard me for years on the radio talking about great products like Parker, Defiance, Yamaha, or Pacific Edge bait tanks. These products are the best for our unique western needs and Hydrohoist is in the same exact league. This is is not your father's boat lift. Level lifting, self-contained, and no need to bolt it to a dock. You can even put a harbor hoist model almost anywhere. Want to see one in action? Hydro Hoist has a new dealer in Mission Bay right next to SeaWorld, and you guessed it, it's Dana Landing. They're the new dealer for Hydro Hoist boat lifts, and their awesome 36 yellow fin is sitting right on one next to the launch ramp. Go ask Nick to take a look. So don't lug it, lift it on a Hydro Hoist boat lift from Dana Landing in Mission Bay, or go to BoatLift.com for more information. And get lifted. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right Right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California. No one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find a location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. 
Did you know you can listen to 97.3 The Fan from the comfort of your bed? Just say, Alexa, play 97.3 The Fan. Play 97.3 The Fan on radio.com. I understand that there's a, you know, collective Use Alexa bar, to bar, listen bar, to 97.3 The Fan. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on 97.3 The Fan. Solid morning. Phones are getting packed up again if you want to get through. Best way to do that, 833-288-0973. All right. Hey, let's go ahead and jump into those jam-packed phone lines right now. You got it, man. Why don't we start it off with Tim. He's calling us from Carlsbad this morning. Tim, good morning. Thanks for joining us here and getting us started on the phones on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm getting really excited for these tuna. Um, I only got a 15-foot calabogie. And every few years, I'm able to, they come within my distance, my range. Um, I'm just wondering what direction these tuna are headed in. I mean, are they going to stay, you know, 30 miles out all the way up the coast and then head back? Or are they going to come within, you know, these small private boat range? I would imagine. I know uh, there were a bunch seen off of Camp Pendleton the other day okay. by a, a private guy in a plane. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Some of that fish right now that's down off the uh, Mexican coast is close. You know, it's three, four miles offshore. Off, offshore, yeah. wow. So I, it sure seems like they come up and they make that western trajectory, you know, and hook out over the 43 and go out toward the San Clemente Island and then the banks out beyond that. But I, obviously there's fish between the island and the mainland right now, so I, I don't see why not. It, I have, I mean, I have no idea at all, and you, you're, you would certainly know much more than I. But it, it seems like this year there's been a lot of fish tight to the beach. Like you were talking about that fish in Mexico, and a few days ago we had that fish that, for whatever reason, it got on the nine mile bank as, yeah. as, as good as it, big great, as good as it could ever be. You know, I mean, there was the guys that were fortunate enough to be out that day. I mean, those, like you say, big giant foamers of fish. Seven miles from Point Loma, you could catch a hundred pounder. You know, it was. It just seems like there's a lot of fish more, you know, further to the east than normal this year. Yeah, and you know, it pops up in one place one day, and then it's in a different place the next day. I mean, it, it's hard to really pinpoint where it's going to be. It, totally. You much got to paddle out there every single day. I guess. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. Totally. Hey, well, good luck with that, Tim. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. How about next up? We talked to Don. He's calling us from Woodland Hills. Don, it was fun uh, seeing you at the Mossy Ford San Diego County Ford Dealers Live Remote yesterday. Hey, we had we had a great time in San Diego yesterday. Thanks for being such great hosts. Thanks. That for was a lot out. of fun, buddy. Hey, um, Captain. Um, you know, I've, I'm, I'm familiar with your boat. I fished it several times, and uh, being an ex-diver, I'm, I'm kind of curious. What do you have to do to the boat when you change over from going from a fishing operation to a diving for uh, great white sharks down at Guadalupe? That's a good question. You know, it's it's a lot of work, but in, in the big picture, it's pretty simple. We put a swim step on the back, which is uh, fairly simple. We boom the cages on, and then the only other. Well, actually, that's changed a little bit. And I take that back. We we've we put the new bait tank on this year, and we designed it to be removable. So oh, nice! The oh, bait tank wow, comes off. Cool. A seven-person hot tub goes goes where. Ah, it's get safe. out of here! Yeah, we for, are you being totally serious? That. Yeah, we already used it. <laughs> no the way! The hot tub goes on. The swim step goes on, and then we've got two big dive compressors and an air system that that we put together. You can't really see it, but we assembled that to provide air for all the dive trips. But that's that's basically it. We can do it in. You know, two days, we can have the boat fully switched over and ready to go. <laughs> so now when the divers get out of the water, they can jump in the hot tub and get warm. Yeah. We did a we do a family trip every year on the Islander, and we, we go out to uh, Catalina Island with some neighborhood families. So we put it on for six days, and it worked great. That's, I don't that's know about the choppy so, weather. That's but, so cool. But yeah. so cool. That's so cool. That is, so um, while Don is talking about these divers, why don't you tell us about the Great White Shark dive trips for people that may be interested in going on one. What is, sure. what is it, what's the experience? How long does it take? What's what's inside yeah, good question. It's, it's a five day trip, and uh, we run those through mid September all the way up to Christmas. We got home the day before Christmas, I think, last year. But they're five day trips. It's a day out to the island and a day back, and three days of diving. And do you have to be a certified diver? You don't have to be certified. You, you do can not. be certified, but you don't need to. All the air is surface supplied. Uh, so we get a lot of people out that are beginners. We've had a couple of people out that have never even uh, been on the ocean before. But it's uh, it's a really, really cool trip, you know, oh, whether man. you're a shark enthusiast or a photographer or whatever. It's a it's an interesting, 
unique way to enjoy Guadalupe Island. And where we dive is typically flat calm. We've never had a trip in 14 years where we haven't seen sharks. It's not uncommon to have five, six, seven sharks around the boat. Wow. And uh, the last couple of years we've been diving with tuna. We've had fish up to 200 pounds swimming close enough to the cage where you can almost touch them. Wow. So you get a whole... Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a whole shot of what goes on underneath the water at Guadalupe Island. That's got to be cool. And you don't have to be a certified diver. No, anybody can go. Anybody a, can go. What wow. is per- perspective to see those sharks? I mean, one, just to see something that big is crazy from above, but then, you know, I mean, there's been plenty of fishermen that have been down there and and seeing that, you know, seeing them above, maybe seeing them eat a fish, but what a perspective to be, you know, eye to eye with one of those things. It is cool. It's surreal. I mean, I've been going to Guadalupe Island for a long time. And we used to fish there, you know, on the, on the boat before we decided sure. to uh, switch around and try this. And it's a whole different deal when you're underwater and the thing's two feet away. It's cool. What 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 are the size of the shark that you're seeing down there on, on the average? You know, I would say average is 12 to 14 foot, but we've oh seen them up to 18 feet. And Jeez. then we've seen small juveniles that are six feet long. Really? Yeah. I, I've there. done it. I, I've done the shark dive when Searcher was doing it. I, I did one, and it's an incredible experience. So... I would highly encourage you if you want to see this experience, it's it's worth doing at least once. Do you have a lot of repeat customers on it? Yeah, you know, we have a guy coming back this year for his seventh year. Seventh in a row. year. And wow. we've got one trip that is pretty much all repeats that became friends last year and they're coming back That's this right. year. So, yeah, we're. We are getting a lot of repeat business now. For those Do those things sell out super early? Is it similar to fishing? That, you know, when they get closed, that's when they get full, that, that kind of thing? I mean, how yeah, do, how I mean, we've been sold out the last two years, but it's all the way up to, uh, you know, the beginning of the season where sure. we actually fill out the last few spots. So we've got plenty of openings left for them. No, so if cool, somebody wants man. a book and go on a Great White Shark dive expedition, how do they do it? For that one, our website for that is uh, islander-charters.com, and you can call our office at... Six one nine two two four four three eight eight. Yeah, so um, so that's right on the regular Islander Islander uh, website, Islander Dash Charters. Yeah, well, we have two. We have Islander Sport as well. Okay, so the Islander Dash Charters is actually the dive. It is. That's for yeah. the sharks. Can you access through the regular one for? Uh, yep. Yeah, and, and so either one you go to, you just look for dive charts. Yeah, if you like just that. Google us, you'll find us. Yeah, you'll find it. It's <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. If you turn right. on Shark Week, you'll see half the shows there. We are on Shark Week again this yeah, year. This cool. is our cool. fourth year in a row on Shark Week, and we're working on another uh, show for this year as well. Those That's guys cool. must love having a platform like yours to, to work. You know, I mean, you you know, we've all seen those shows and some of the rigs that they're on, and then can you imagine like having a platform like the Islander of having – State rooms and good food yeah. and, yeah, and a, a hot tub. We have a good working relationship with the guys from uh, Shark Week. We get along well. So that's, that's great. That's cool. Trip after trip. Don, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning, and thanks for showing up at Mossy Ford yesterday and supporting our events for sure. Let's head south down to Rancho Leonero. Talk to our buddy John Ireland's on the line. Buenos dias, John. Good morning, Pete. Hi, Rick. Hello, John. Good morning, good morning, John. Well, we got to, uh, we have pretty good fishing down here this week. This past week, you know, something I have to mention. It's July, and this is the coolest July we've ever had down here. Highs are in the mid to high 80s, you know, hot part of the day, cool mornings. I just don't, don't remember, recall it ever being this cool and this nice in July. <clears throat> it's been a really good time to be down here. Water inside is 80 to 81. Yeah, that's inside. And then outside, it ranges from 83 to 85, about 10 to 15 miles off. Um we're getting easterly winds, afternoon easterly winds, a little heavier than normal, a little bumpier, but uh, overall we've got good fishing. Um, it, we've been, the tuna have been, especially later on the week, the last four or five days, pretty much everybody's been limiting on tuna 15 to 35 pounds, a few 50-pounders mixed in there. They're about, like say, 15 to 30 miles off the beach, just as soon as the water warms up. They're, they're underneath the pods of... Uh, moving porpoise uh, and the porpoise are moving around pretty fast too taking the hoochies and chunk squid they don't seem to be going for the live bait at all they're loving the chunk squid and, and hitting uh, the hoochies on the troll again most people most anglers are limiting so uh, a, lot of, a lot of tuna in the freezer uh billfish uh, <clears throat> loads and loads of billfish around as well Larry Verde and Los Frailes, one to six miles off the beach and quite a few around. Most taken on, uh, they're loving the Valley Hoop. 
both uh, slow tr- slow troll on the ballyhoo, and then uh, they use them as cast bait, and then uh, slow trolling that way too, putting it on their nose. And they're hitting the ballyhoo in a big way, at least one per angle. Anybody that's targeting them, is, they're going to go out and catch at least one. We went out last weekend and uh, fished a little tourney, and we released four a day, two days in a row. So quite a few around. The fish are running about 100 to 200 pounds, or a little bit bigger than they have been. And a lot of blue marlin mixed in, too. We had uh, one real big blue on day before yesterday, and after two and a half hours, the, the angers lost it. So uh, there's some blues hanging out as well. Some big Dorado this week. Uh, not a bunch of Dorado, but the ones they're catching are, are big bulls in the 45 to 55-pound range. And there's been three or four of those this week. Uh, they're when the guys are out trolling for the marlin, they're picking them up on the marlin lures. Inshore, rooster fish have finally come back in a big way. Lots of big roosters and 50-plus pounders being released. Um, on the bottom, some big amberjack, some big grouper, and we even caught an 82-degree water, believe it or not, a 27-pound yellowtail, which is a first as well. That's oh, crazy, geez. John. Well, it sounds like good fishing at Rancho Leonera. Of course, prime time fishing right now down at this beautiful resort in southern Baja. How do we get a hold of you if we want to go book a trip to Rancho Leonero? Thanks, Pedro. It's 800-646-2252 or rancholeonero.com. We're loading a lot of pictures weekly on the on the website. So, yeah, it's, it's good fishing, and it's getting better. And, it's, and the weather's excellent as well. Sounds wonderful. Sounds like we need yeah, to count be Count me in. All right, John. Thanks a lot for that. We'll talk to you next Sunday. You sure will. Actually, you will. I will be in there. Oh, Sunday. that's uh, how could I forget? You'll be here really next Sunday, be right here at the Fan Studios next Sunday, seven to nine a.m. Mr. John Ireland from Rancho Leonero, right here. We'll see you one week from the day in the studio, John. Absolutely, my first day in the new studio. That's oh, right. Yeah. to having you, John. Love it. All right, thanks, John. We'll see you next Sunday. That's. That's a wild thing to think about. He said they had a 82 degree water yellowtail. I mean, like think about the range that you could catch oh, that boy. fish in. You know, common to catch them in the low 60s, and I'm sure you could probably find them in less than that. And to catch that fish in 80 degree, you know, yeah. you, know you just don't think about that same fish biting in 30 degree water. You know, differences Difference, has changed. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. All right, let's jump back into those jam packed phones, Rick. Well, jam packed they definitely are. How about this time we talk to Mark? Mark's calling us from Santee this morning. What's up, Mark? Welcome to the show. Hey, how you guys? How you guys doing? Great, great, buddy. And yeah, nice, uh, nice show yesterday. I was there and pretty good. All right, um, thanks for coming my, down to Mossy. My question is, um, how many kayaks can you fit on the back of that boat? Uh, we can fit twenty-two. With the with the actually the the new tank, it improved all that as well. Did it? We yeah, put, yeah. It we helped. Put a whole bunch. Well, on, I, I tell you, on our kayak trip, there was plenty of room to get around. And the, the other thing too is the Islander crew does such a good job of getting people in and out of the water safely. You keep an eye on everybody out there, making sure everybody is safe and what's going on. They're incredible trips. Are you going to do them again next year? I am. Okay, good. I am, you know, <laughs> good. You know, everyone we had this year was sold out, and it's a cool way for us to start our season. And honestly, I, I like it. I love yeah, that island. Cool. I like hanging out there, yeah, exploring cool. it. Got to dive a few times this year. Oh, so that's cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to do them. I, I actually think we're going to do more next year. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Do yeah, you, they're you popular. Guys, it, it's been a number of years since I went on one of the kayak trips, but do you still have the do you still have the tender and and you know go around and check on the guys and you know if somebody needs somebody needs assistance or or just we needs do. a cheeseburger for that matter? I mean, it's just what what I'm getting at is it's so accommodating. Like you guys do such a good job taking care of everybody. Like you, you just way more than you could imagine. It's more than just being ferried out there from your kayak. Yeah, yeah, and we've it's all it's all the same. I've improved upon a little bit, but yeah, I know we still have the skiff, and actually the the fuel system on the skiff got screwed up on our last trip. So when we had all those guys getting drugged around with bluefin, we were using the big boat. To, to Ten no big way! Ride. Yeah, but <laughs> oh yeah, my. No, nothing's changed with any of that. It, it's uh, it's a pretty well oiled machine at this point, you know. The entry and exit too is so crazy. The swim step that you have, I mean, it's. It's the easiest you could ever imagine getting in or out of a kayak. I mean, you're at water's level, and you basically just, you know, you're you're right there. Your boat's right there. You just, you know, hop in and hop in and go. I mean, it's 
for a guy that's even, you know, you, you maybe would think of a trip out to San Clemente Island as something for an advanced fisherman, but it's it's really almost the opposite. I mean, there's no beach launch to worry about. There's no anything. You're just, you're there with your boat in, you know, in calm waters, and next thing you know, you're in the most prolific fishing grounds you could ever imagine fishing in. Yeah, it's really simple. You know, we had, thinking about this year, we had, we've had people this year that are out fishing for 14 hours, you know, nonstop, don't come back to the boat, which you're not, you're not going to do that here off the local beach. And, uh, I mean, this year we had better fishing on those kayak trips than it was at yeah. times offshore. You know? Yeah. So it, it, they, were, they were fun. And yeah, I, the island's really cool. so beautiful, and it's such a great experience. And every year, like last year, it was whales under the under the kayaks. Right. This year you had giant tuna on the kayaks, great yellowtail fishing. Yeah. Every year there's some kind of a special experience. No, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, we're yeah. going to keep doing them. For sure. All right, Mark, book it. Do you put it online? or? Uh, those are... They're online. They're private charters, but all the information is on our yeah. website to and sign up. And then we'll be doing one, too. We'll be doing a day and a half uh, Let's yeah. Talk Hookup Islander kayak trip along with Fast Lane next year. So right. uh, we'll have one available, too, for you. So watch for that and book it. It's really, really fun. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. Let's jump right back into oh, it. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and talk to Rich. Rich is calling us from Bradley this morning. What's up, Rich? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Rich. Oh, it's a beautiful day. And uh, you opened the show with talking about the extraordinary grade and dif- difference in the sizes of the fish that are being hauled in. And I'm wondering uh, what would be the optimal and not not necessarily the uh, minimum uh, arsenal of uh, line test gear that you would recommend for passengers. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. We were talking about that on the radio this morning. You pretty much need to come with Everything from 20 pound to 100 pound, and helium and balloons and everything else. But you know, if I were going out, I would have a. Depends what you have at your disposal, but ideally a 25 pound setup, 40 pound setup, and a 50 and 60 if you got it. And if you've got an 80 pound setup, I would bring that too. Honestly, the fish out there cover pretty much the entire spectrum. You know, if you roll up on 150 pound fish, or if you're fishing at night. For bigger ones, uh, you know, you don't really want to be caught in the water with anything less than 80 pound. But most of that 60 to 90 pound fish that we've been catching is is perfectly doable on uh, 40 or 50 pound. The one thing I've noticed this year, you know, with the advent of all these awesome new two-speed reels is what a difference those things make. Totally. You can have 40 pound or 50 pound, but you put it on the wrong reel, and you will spend a lot of time trying to wind those fish in. So, <laughs> If you were going to upgrade your tackle setup right now, I would say get a good quality, you know, small two-speed reel that can handle, you know, 40 to 60 pound line. I think that has made the biggest difference with that middle grade fish. Go buy a Talica. It's worth the money. Yeah. Just do it. You know, no yeah. doubt about it. Hey, thanks a lot for the call, Rich. Appreciate that. All right, let's go to the sky. Our spotter plane extraordinaire, Mr. Tom Green, the SAC spotter pilot, is on the line. Good morning, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Rick. Hey, John. Morning. Can you hear from hey, you? I was listening to you guys talking about those sharks. I don't like seeing them from the airplane. When I see them, I lift my feet up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, no kidding. I, you know, it's funny. I got a text from Harold Davis this morning that he was out rock fishing yesterday out of Morro Bay and uh, showed me a picture of some beautiful reds and link cod that he caught. And he said the last fish they caught was eaten at the boat by a great white shark. Get right there, yeah. He says, I, he said his last statement, I need a bigger boat. So, <laughs> so they're out no, there, right? No doubt about it. Those yeah. Things, oh, yeah, no, they're there. I was I was almost to Guadalupe yesterday. Wow. But, uh, so what would you see? Yeah, no, we, oh, you know what? I saw a lot of water yesterday. We're we're trying to find a new area just to hopefully hoping something else would start working up and covered a lot of ground yesterday, and we're still the best place to be is right where we are, you know. Seeing some fish real close to the beach, just like what your guys are saying. Saw some stuff kind of close on the 100 fathom curve, and then out there by the 425, I saw a lot of small little boilers out in that area. All right. But as far as new body of fish coming up, I just don't see it as of yet. But it's early. My gosh, it's just the first of July. Yeah. Yeah. And now, the now your partner Carl was up uh, in a different sector up north, and he saw some fish, right? Oh, yeah, he's rubbing it in on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you ought to be saying, look at this, look at this. I be quiet. Quit it. <laughs> so where was he? He was, up, he was up above the 425 and and towards the 425 and towards San Diego and all this upper area. 
It, I think it's just scattering out. It's it's found that bait. I did see pretty good uh, black spots of bait yesterday, scattered around. So it lo it looks like hopefully they're going to be here for a while. That's yeah, great news, that's Tom. Good news. Yeah, the 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 food is here. So why do they need to leave, right? Exactly. No, that that is a fact. Wow. Oh, and one other thing, I I spent uh, the evening the other day with the San Diego Anglers. And, man, we had a nice time. What a good group of guys they are. Oh, that's cool. That is a really that, good club. That's really cool. Well, great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you get up in the sky. I know Sport Fishing Association of California sponsors these trips and gets you up in the sky so we know what's going on. Uh, when's your next time up? Well, hopefully we'll, get, we'll try it again next weekend and see if we can't dig something up. But there, I, as long as this fish is going to be around, I know the guys are going to be on them here. All right. Well, very good. Uh, Tom Green, our sack spotter pilot, the man in the sky. Appreciate that report and glad you're still seeing fish. All right. All right. Talk thanks, to you Tom. soon. All right. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that very much. All right. Let's go. Uh, we'll take a real quick one. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. We're going to check in with the catch report, find out what's biting up and down the beach, and a lot more of your phone calls. Been a busy morning on the show, but this is a great time to call through as we just had someone drop during this break. 833-288-0973. Again, 833-288-0973. That's your chance. We got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way on 97.3 The Fan. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Time to talk about great gear from Shimano. And, you know, we've been telling you over and over <laughs> again, and you're going bluefin tuna fishing, you have to take a towel. Well, you heard what John said. Or multiple. I mean, the, the difference of having appropriate gear and not is the difference between hooking one and the difference between landing one. And that's what that's what power and torque gives you. And Talica gives you both of those things. A free spool well, they fit in your hand, you can cast a bait very well, and all those are extremely important things. But the most important is being able to turn the handle when you do hook one. And, Indeed. And it's the difference between putting line on the reel or just standing there at a stalemate waiting for the fish to chew you off. Yeah, and there's a lot of great reels out there, but there's just one Talica, and you'll know the difference. All you have to do is just get one and use it. You can, you can uh, rent one at Fisherman's Landing sure. and try it, and then you'll know Talica, the Therese Talica combo, nothing beats it. Check it out, whether it be a 10, a 12, a 16, a 20, a 25, or even a 50. <laughs> Talica line is unbeatable. Check it out at your local tackle store, the Talica line from Shimano. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the dock, Sea Keeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe it? Just ask those that have put them on their boat, like Captain Pete Grosbeck and other professionals. 
Fishing in the trough with Seakeeper basically eliminates the trough. Seakeeper's newest offering, the Seakeeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, this gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post and operate on your current battery system, making installation fast and easy. Watch for new products coming soon. The Seakeeper for boats. Think about it. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your boat. That is amazing. To learn more about how Seakeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to Seakeeper.com. Take a ride. Be amazed. Seakeeper. Did you know you can listen to 97.3 The Fan from the comfort of your bed? Just say, Alexa, play 97.3 The Fan. Play 97.3 The Fan on radio.com. You know, you can look at all the stats you want about. Use Alexa to listen to 97.3 The Fan. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on 97.3 The Fan. Hey, as promised, it's time to find out what's biting out there. Today, the kitchen board is sponsored by Terrafin Sea Surface Temperature Charts. Focus your offshore fishing in the most productive areas by using Terrafin. And now with Terrafin Mobile, you can take it with you on your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android device. Just download the latest chart before you leave, and all the information is right there for you. Check Terrafin.com for more information. Let's start it off with a day of war sport fishing. Talk to the man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Doing great. great. Good morning. Good, good, man. Uh, back at it this week for us down here or up here from you guys, I should say. More of the same along the coast here. I know Shane filled in the last couple of weeks, kind of got you guys up to speed, but uh, our water's warming up nice. We're seeing some good sign here. You know, the, the bass fishing still for us has continued to uh, be the center of attention on both our half and our three-quarter day trips for the time being. Uh, the fly line baits, as you'd imagine, uh, have provided the best action for us on these trips. But uh, with this water warming up and the bass in their uh, spawn mode, you know, things will continue to improve here as we, uh, you know, roll through the next couple of weeks. Along with the live bait uh, this week, too, the surface iron, uh, the rubber lures, the hard baits, all that stuff uh, had a time and a place uh, in our efforts this week, too. So we're also starting to see some yellowtail filter in on some of the spots uh, down here, North County and whatnot. Um, we had one fish last week on a surface iron, 41 pounds. Solid, you know, solid yellowtail for the beach here. So nice. good to see some of that stuff, yeah, filling in. Stretching it out to uh, the 5-to-5 five five zone over at Catalina. The fishing opportunity there has been great this week, too. Uh, plenty of good bass action along the back there, some of the kelp spots uh, and a couple spots along the front. Along with that bass, the barracuda, bonito also provided uh, plenty of action. And on that front of the island, man, that yellowtail has been visual. And it's been catchable, you know. It's a good grade of fish. It's at 12 to, I'd say, 25-pound stuff. You know, you get the right little zone with uh, some good current. And, uh, you know, lack of sea lions, you have a good shot at, uh, you know, getting a score on some of that yellowtail over there, too. And the Fury, he uh, he just got in this morning from a day and a half. He was out there uh, looking at that fish all day yesterday, that bluefin. He had a couple fish uh, in the morning, and then he uh, had a couple fish uh, right before dark last night. I think he ended with six fish. All on the flat ball, and that uh, that bluefin went 60 to 80 pounds, Marcus Foley. So he had a little shot at some of that. So, again, that fish, as you guys all well know, is on its own bay right now, so it's been tricky. So, anyways, that's what we got rolling here. If you guys want to hop on a trip, our phone number to our office is 949-496-5794. Obviously, reservations are the way to go this time of year. You can book online as well at danawarf.com. And uh, the discount code, you guys want to save a little bit of money, 25% on one of these half or uh, three-quarter day trips, use the code LOCAL, L-O-C-A-L, and that will knock that 25% off your ticket price to come fishing with it. Wow. So you just click on that Dana Wharf Sport Fishing banner on the front page of letstalkhookup.com. You go there, you book your half or three-quarter day trip, you put in LOCAL at checkout, and you save 25%. Is that right? That's it. Super basic. Yep. Wow. Book it online. That's and killer. Come on down. Great deal. All right. Captain Brian Woolley, Dana Wars Sport Fishing. Thanks a lot. Great report, and we'll talk to you next Sunday. Sounds good, guys. Thanks. See ya. All right. Thanks, Woolley. All right. All right. Let's head down to Cedros Island now. We got Jeff Flowers from Cedros Sport Fishing on the line. What's up, Jeff? Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? I'm doing great. great. Could the, uh, the, the possible run continue of that great yellowtail and bass fishing? Oh, you know, it's uh, that's why they call it Fantasy Island down there right now. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Sorry for missing you guys last week. Rosie and I were actually out taking care of our own needs, uh, getting on the water and trying to catch some of those bluefin that are out there. 
Nice. Yeah, good deal. That's a that's a very good ex- that's the that's the excuse we like to hear on Let's Talk Hookup. The only excuse besides being <laughs> dead, right? That's it. <laughs> hey, but as usual, uh, so far this uh, this last week, you know, Sadrus is producing those great big yellows again, calicos, uh, halibut are biting in a few locations. Everything's within a few miles of the lot. So it's uh most of the, most of it's at that south end, just around the corner, super easy to get to, a little protected by the wind. However, the weather has kicked up a little bit, so if you're going down there, be prepared for a little bit of windy weather. Good to good to know, and certainly some yeah. great some great bass fishing. I know you guys have been doing a great job on your social media, trying to keep everybody up to date with all the fishing that's been going on. So sounds like good times at the island. Indeed, and I know we are our Let's Talk hookup trip was a huge success. I know uh, I talked to Steve and Roger, and they said uh, good yellowtail fishing, great bass fishing, and a great time with just the Cedro sport fishing experience, leaving from CBX, the fabulous food, the great uh, boats down there. Nothing beats Cedro sport fishing. So if somebody wants to book a trip down there, how do they do it, Jeff? Well, it's uh, super easy. We do have a few spots left for the season. A couple people have kicked off the list due to some family uh, obligations. So the best thing to do is to give Rosie a call at 619-772-7570, or you can go to the website. Check out sadrosportfishing.com. Go under the schedule. You might be able to see a couple things there that might perk your interest. And uh, we're also taking reservations for 2020, which are going fast. <laughs> and uh, just a little tidbit of information, uh, a couple of enterprising young men down there on the island have uh, started up a, a small bait company. So when uh, when their customers come down, if you don't want to spend uh, half an hour or an hour or two hours looking for, for live bait, they're down there uh, selling them by the piece. Nice. All right, on. That's cool. Yeah, that makes it yeah. easy, huh? It makes it super easy. Yeah, that way it's on the boat before uh, before you actually get out there. Wow. Uh, to take care of that before with uh, with the skippers or with Richard down at the lodge, and uh, some, boy, I tell you, that's gonna save some time some, and and get you out there fishing my, even better. My quicker. favorite way to make bait, just like you go to the Everingham Brothers, you, you <laughs> get some money, you give them, get, you know, make bait with a twenty dollar bill. <laughs> you told me that a long time ago. Pete and I went fishing at Catalina Island like a long, long time ago, and it was the first time I'd ever been there fishing with squid. And I remember on the drive out there asking, like, well, what's the best way to get the squid? And you, you said that it's, it's with a fifty dollar bill. That's the best. That's the best. <laughs> that's, the best that's the best way to get it. <laughs> no doubt about it. Hey, Jeff. Give our best to Rosie, and thanks, Hawk, for a great report from Cedro Sport Fishing. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, All Jeff. Right. All right, well, that's going to wrap up our catch board right now. Hey, we're going to remind you, this summer, the Bill Barnet and CCA, they're going to be holding those great series of on-the-beach surf fishing clinics. To learn more, go to fishthesurf.com and click on the Seminars tab. Also, if you need surf fish tackle, man, you got to check out Bill's website. It's surffishtackle.com. You can find all the equipment that Bill uses every day for successful fishing on the beach. Indeed, one line open. You want to get through. It's been a busy morning, 833-288-0973, open right now. All right, let's jump right back into the phones. This time, talk to Paul. He's comes from Bellflower. What's up, Paul? Welcome to the show. Good morning, Pete, Rick, and John. How are you guys doing? Great. Hey, Paul? Good. Awesome. Yeah, I just got off a day and a half. I was on the. I was actually on the Fury that was mentioned earlier. Oh, we went nice. six for seven. Uh, the biggest was 84, then 83, 82, and smallest was 68, 66. Uh, the flat falls were Totally killing it. Uh, the, they were the 250 grams, the 8.8 ounce ones. Uh, and let's see what else do they have. But uh, oh, Marcus and uh, the crew on the Fury, they're awesome. They do a killer job. And oh, the flat falls were the yellow and chrome ones, and with like a strip of glow in the dark on it. Nice. And, That's good dope, yeah, man. Well, it sounds like it was awesome. some great fishing, Paul. 250 gram. Yes, yes, All exactly. Right. I was I was fly lining a sardine uh, about 50% of the time, and uh, there was no live bait uh, action at all. Nothing was happening with the live bait. But they wanted that flat fall. Was it in the dark, in the day? What time? Uh, yeah, more, yep, definitely morning and evening. That nice. was it. Good deal, Paul. Well, sounds like a fantastic trip. Yeah, good night. nice going and some really, really good grade of fish, man. Up to 84 pounds on a local trip. That's just that's so cool. I know it's been going on for months, but it, it never gets old thinking about fish that are that size, that that close to home. This is so cool that's going on this year. All right. On a red flat fall. 
All right. right on, buddy. Very good. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Appreciate that report. That does free up 833-288-0973. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including another full hour. You stay tuned. Lots more Let's Talk Hookup. Southern California Sport Fishing Voice right here on 97.3 The Fan. KWFNFM and KWFN HD1 San Diego. Radio.com Sports Station. Hi, this is Hunter Infra. The Padres play here. A two-run shot to dead center. Hosmer scores 12-3 Padres. Padres play here on 97-3 The Fan. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive trips that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name. Well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guests' names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-225. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLayanero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. There are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there is only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat. It's a way of life here in America's finest city. Come check out what's new at the Kona Kai. 170 luxury guest rooms, including 41 brand new suites featuring contemporary island-inspired decor, deep soaking tubs, and oversized balconies. The Kona Kai Resort Spa and Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and an award-winning spa, most of which is included for Marina tenants. Add the Kona Kai Club to your membership and you have access to the new Paloma Pool Bar, a new and exclusive pool area for adults only, which allows guests to enjoy poolside craft cocktails and California coastal cuisine while overlooking your boat. In addition to all this, Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. Check resortkonakai.com on the web for more information to reserve a slip or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Kai Resort, much more than just a place to park your boat. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. When you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Jim sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color. Clarity. Detail. Maui Jim. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Let's talk candidly about long-range fishing. This is Captain Frank Depresti of the Royal Polaris and the Shogun. Nowhere on earth will you find a fleet of long-range boats like we have in San Diego. We are fortunate to have several top-notch operations to take you to the most productive fishing grounds in the world. We all offer good food, comfortable staterooms, 
huge bait capacity, and top-of-the-line fish-finding electronics. So why would you choose the Royal Polaris or the Shogun for your next long-range trip? What sets us apart from the rest? It's pretty simple. The boats, the crew, and the service. From the moment you arrive at Fisherman's Landing, the service begins. We help you load your gear and do everything possible to get beginners or seasoned veterans ready to catch fish. When it's time to fish, the Royal Polaris and the Shogun have the edge there, too, delivering the two best fishing platforms in the fleet. But don't take my word for it. Come fishing with us. If you want the best, it's Royal Polaris and the Shogun. For more information, call 619-226-8030 or on the web at royalpolarissportfishing.com or shogunsportfishing.com. 